Today Current Affairs for Competitive Exams Current Affairs 2021 Online Ask Invests 200 Crore Rupees in Kalpataru's Project Ask Property Investment Advisors Ask Peer The real estate private equity arm of Ask Group has invested 200 Crore Rupees in real estate Kalpataru Group's mid-income housing project in Baner, Pune. This is an ongoing mid-segment residential project on 16 acres with a saleable area of 1.9 million square. FT. This is ASK's first investment in Kalpataru Group. Cadillac to sell health business for 2,921 crore rupees. Zydus Animal Health and Investments Ltd. ZAHL has entered into an agreement to sell its animal healthcare established markets undertaking Zydus R to a consortium led by private equity firm Multiples Alternate Asset Management for 2,921 crore rupees. ZAHL is a wholly owned subsidiary of Cadillac Healthcare Ltd. It is the second largest and one of the fastest growing animal health businesses in India. CBIC launches scheme for COVID-affected staff. The Central Board of Indirect Taxes and Customs, CBIC, has launched a scheme to provide financial and medical assistance to its officials and staff members affected by the pandemic. The scheme called, Ashwasan, also offers essential supplies and transport support to COVID-affected staff members. CBIC has lost 110 officials and staff members so far to the pandemic. U.S. to remove Xiaomi from blacklist. Xiaomi Corp. and the U.S. government have reached an agreement to set aside a Trump administration blacklisting that could have restricted American investment in the Chinese smartphone maker. Xiaomi was co-founded by entrepreneur Lei Jun more than 10 years ago, with U.S. chipmaker Qualcomm Inc. as one of the earliest investors. Dr. Reddy's Science Pact with Illy Lili Dr. Reddy's Laboratories has entered into an agreement with Illy Lili and Company for the manufacture and commercialization of baricitinib in India. Baricitinib has received restricted emergency use approval from the Central Drug Standard Control Organization, CDSCO, for use in combination with Remdesivir. Illy Lili had earlier signed licensing agreements with Sun Pharma, Cipla, and Lupin. Manisha Kapoor joins Exec. Committee of ICAS. Advertising Standards Council of India's General Secretary Manisha Kapoor has been appointed to the Executive Committee of the International Council for Advertising Self-Regulation, ICAS. She will be one of the four global vice-presidents on the Executive Committee. Set up by the European Advertising Standards Alliance in 2008, ICAS is a global platform of self-regulatory organizations. Obituary C. Chairman of Subros LTD Ramesh Suri passed away in May 2021. He was the promoter and co-founder of Subros, India's largest supplier of automotive air conditioning and thermal products. Veteran table tennis player and coach Venugopal Chandrasekhar passed away in May 2021. He was one of the most popular paddlers of his time who won three national championships. He was an Arjuna Award winner. Obituaries 2. The former Urdu newsreader of All India Radio, Afsar Ali Jafri, passed away in May 2021. He was associated with the Urdu unit of the News Services Division of All India Radio for about 40 years. Promising upcoming bodybuilder Sentil Kumaran Selvarajan passed away in May 2021. Apart from Selvarajan, international bodybuilder Jagdish Ladd also died due to coronavirus early in May 2021. Bangladesh conducts first test run for Metro. The test run of the first electrical metro train in Bangladesh was conducted on the 11th of May 2021 in Dhaka. After the receiving inspection, the trains will go through a functional test followed by a performance test in August 21. Bangladesh is building a 21 km long mass rapid transit system from Uttara to Motijil at a cost of 22,000 crore takas. The metro line MRT6 will have 16 stations. Manchester City, Premier League Champions In the English Premier League, Manchester City has crowned Premier League Champions for the third time in four seasons. Manchester United came second. Having won both the Premier League and the League Cup, Manchester City will now play to win the Champions League final on May 29, 2021. India will be fastest growing major economy. The United Nations has informed that India will be the world's fastest-growing major economy in 2022.
In its mid-year update of the world economic situation and prospects, West, United Nations projected that the Indian economy will grow at 10.1% in the calendar year 2022. China has been projected to grow at 5.8%, a slowdown from 8.2% in 2021. Agriculture Ministry allocates 2,250 crore rupees. The Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare has provided an enhanced allocation of Rs. 2,250 crore for the year 2021-22. It is for Mission for Integrated Development of Horticulture, MIDH, a centrally sponsored scheme. During the year 2019-20, the country recorded its highest ever horticulture production of 320.77 million tons from an area of 25.66 million hectares. Fourth India-Swiss Financial Dialogue held. The Fourth India-Swiss Financial Dialogue was held virtually in New Delhi on the 11th of May 2021. Secretary Economic Affairs Ajay Seth led the Indian delegation. The delegation from the Swiss side was led by Ms. Danila Stoffel, State Secretary, State Secretariat for International Finance, Switzerland. The dialogue covered sharing of experiences for collaboration on aspects including investments. RBI excludes Lakshmi Vilas Bank from RBI Act. The Reserve Bank of India, RBI, has excluded Lakshmi Vilas Bank, LVB, from the second schedule of the RBI Act after it was merged with DBS Bank India LTD, DBIL, in 2020. A bank mentioned in the second schedule of the Reserve Bank of India Act is known as Scheduled Commercial Bank. It has been excluded with effect from the 27th of November 2020. Paul Pickering's New Book Elephant British novelist Paul Pickering has come up with his new book titled Elephant. The book, published by Salt Publishing, spans two historical periods which correspond to the end of the rational modern and the end of the postmodern and poststructuralist, to a new metamodernism. He has also authored the highly acclaimed novel Over the Rainbow. India's growth forecast to 9.3% for 2021-22. Rating agency Moody's Investor Service on the 11th of May 2021 slashed India's GDP growth forecast for the current financial year 2021-22 to 9.3% from the projected 13.7%. This downfall is due to the negative impact of the second wave of coronavirus disease. Moody's also expects a wider general government deficit of around 11.8% of the GDP in fiscal 2021, compared with its previous forecast of 10.8%. Shakuntala Tilsted wins World Food Prize 2021. Dr. Shakuntala Hareksingh Tilsted, a global nutrition expert of Indian descent, has won the prestigious 2021 World Food Prize. She was awarded the prize for her achievements in pioneering fish-based food systems to improve nutrition, health and livelihoods for millions around the world. The World Food Prize was created by Nobel Peace Prize laureate Norman Borlaug in 1986. First woman executive editor of Washington Post. The Jeff Bezos-owned Washington Post named Sally Bisabee as executive editor on the 11th of May 2021. She will be the first woman to lead the newsroom in the paper's 143 years history. She will assume the charge from the 1st of June 2021. Bisabi succeeds Martin Barron, who retired from the paper at the end of February 2021. Bisabi has been executive editor and senior VP of the Associated Press since early 2017. Ruchi Soya to acquire Patanjali's Biscuits. Ruchi Soya Industries on the 11th of May 2021 announced the acquisition of biscuits business from Patanjali Natural Biscuits PVT LTD PNBPL in a slump sale at 60.02 crore rupees. The objective of the acquisition is to expand the product portfolio of the existing business of the company. The turnover of the PNBPL was 448 crore rupees in 2019 20. 2021's first cyclone to form in Arabian Sea. The India Meteorological Department, IMD, on the 11th of May 2021 issued a forecast indicating the possible development of a cyclone in the Arabian Sea around May 16. This will be the first cyclonic storm of 2021 to form in the North Indian Ocean region. The cyclone will acquire the name Cyclone Tukte, given by Myanmar. UK to ban LGBT conversion therapy. Britain will move to ban conversion therapy and provide more support to those in the LGBT plus community who have undergone the treatment. 
A 2017 national LGBT survey found that 5% of those who responded reported being ordered, and 2% reported having undergone conversion therapy. In more than half of the cases, the therapy was offered or conducted by faith organizations. Grower to acquire Indiable's MF business. Online investment platform Grow on the 11th of May 2021 announced that it will be acquiring Indiable's mutual fund business. The digital platform will acquire Indiable's asset management company, IBAMC, and the trustee company for 175 crore rupees. In March 2021, capital markets regulator SEBI had allowed digital platforms like fintech to enter the mutual funds business. Chinese granted refugee status in Japan. A record number of Chinese nationals were granted refugee status in Japan in 2020 amid rising intolerance of religious and political beliefs in China. A total of 47 foreigners were recognized as refugees, around 11 of the total foreigners recognized as refugees by Japan were Chinese. Japan has long faced criticism for its poor record of allowing refugees. Malayalam actor Madam Pukunju Kutin dies. Malayalam screenwriter actor Madam Pukunju Kutin passed away on the 11th of May 2021 due to COVID-19 in Thrissur, Kerala. Kunju Kutin won the national award for the best scriptwriter in 2000 for the film Karunam, directed by Jairaj. He also worked at Akashwani and television channels. Some of his other noted works as a screenwriter include Makalpku, Gaurasankaram, Safalam and Deshadanam, Sudhir Sitapati, Godrej Consumers MD and CEO. Sudhir Sitapati will take over as the managing director and CEO of Godrej Consumer Products Ltd. GCPL in October 2021. Sitapati is presently executive director, foods and refreshments at Hindustan Unilever Limited, HUL. Nizaba Godrej, who is currently the chairperson and managing director, will serve as executive chairperson. Meanwhile, Srinandan Sundaram will replace Sudhir at HUL. KFinetech acquires 17% stake in Artivatech.ai. KFine Technologies has acquired a 17% stake for an undisclosed amount in Insertech startup Artivatech.ai. The partnership with Artivatech will help KFinetech venture into the Insertech space. Artivatic provides risk-based personalized automated solutions catering to the underwriting, claims, risk and fraud intelligence, embedded distribution, new age product design, sales intelligence, etc. 16th Legislative Assembly of Tamil Nadu begins. The 16th Assembly session in Tamil Nadu began on the 11th of May, 21. Pratem Speaker of the Assembly K. P. Chandi administered the oath to the members. The Tamil Nadu Assembly has a total strength of 234 MLAs. DMK member Apavu was nominated for the Speaker's post and KP Chandi was nominated for the post of Deputy Speaker. The DMK has formed the government for the sixth time in the state. Positivity Unlimited, Hum Jitenj, begins. COVID Response Team, CRT, an initiative of civil society is organizing a five days lecture series that began on the 11th of May 2021. This initiative titled, Positivity Unlimited, Humji Tenj, is aimed at promoting positive thinking in society. The lecture series will be broadcast daily on 400 media platforms from 4.30pm to 5pm. This would culminate on 15 May 2021. Padmakuma M. Nair, CEO of NAC. Padmakuma M. Nair will head the National Asset Reconstruction Company LTD, the proposed bad bank, as its CEO. He is the Chief General Manager of Stressed Assets Resolution Group at SBI. He will be joining the company on a deputation basis for the moment. A bad bank refers to a financial institution that takes over the bad assets of lenders and undertakes resolution. 11 Defense Roads Approved in Ladakh Ladakh State Board for Wildlife has approved proposals for 11 defense roads in the Union Territory. Ladakh Lieutenant Governor R. K. Mathur chaired the Second State Board for Wildlife, SBWL, meeting on 10 May, 21. The new roads would cover an area of 154.08 hectares. In the meeting, the State Wildlife Board presented border road construction proposals to Indo-Tibetan Border Police, ITBP. Orissa CM sanctions funds for stray animals. Orissa Chief Minister Naveen Patnayak has sanctioned funds from the Chief Minister Relief Fund, CMRF, for a special cause.
This sum of 60 lakh rupees will be utilized to feed stray animals during the ongoing COVID-19 lockdown in parts of the state. The amount will allow Bhubaneswar, Katak, Sambalpur, Roorkela, and Brahmapur Metropolitan Corporations to spend 20,000 rupees a day for this purpose. Haryana go to give fund to villages. Every village in Haryana will be given funds to curb the increasing number of COVID-19 cases in rural areas. Villages having a population of more than 10,000 will be given a fund of 50,000 rupees and villages with less than 10,000 population will be given 30,000 rupees each. These funds will be used to set up isolation wards in the villages for COVID-19 patients. ISRO develops ventilators, oxygen concentrator. ISRO's Vikram Sarabhai Space Center, VSSC, in Tiruvananthapuram has developed three different types of ventilators and an oxygen concentrator shwas. The names of the ventilators are Prana, Vo and Swastha. All three are user-friendly, fully automated and with touchscreen specifications, meeting all safety standards. These are priced at 1 lakh rupees, are cost-effective, and easy to handle. Chitkara University and CDAC join hands. Chitkara University, Punjab, and Center for Development of Advanced Computing, CDAC, Mohali have signed an MO. The MO was signed during the virtual commemoration of 33rd Foundation Day of CDAC. It will facilitate joint development of technologies as well as joint supervision of masters and PhD scholars. It will also augment knowledge generation in the areas such as cybersecurity. Japan, UNDP to provide oxygen plants. The government of Japan and the United Nations Development Program India have partnered to provide oxygen generation plants to the northeastern region in India. The hospitals, with a capacity of approximately 1,300 beds in total, have been identified in the region for these plants. The government of Japan has also committed to providing critical items to India, including ventilators. China to set up COVID-19 separation line. China will create a line of separation at the Mount Everest summit to prevent climbers from the Chinese side from mingling with those climbing the world's tallest mountain from Nepal. The decision was taken after a number of COVID-19 cases were diagnosed among climbers ascending the mountain from Nepal. A team of Tibetan mountaineering guides will set up the separation line at the peak. R. Shanmugasundaram, Advocate General for TN. The governor of Tamil Nadu, Banwarilal Purohit has appointed senior counsel R. Shanmugasundaram as the new Advocate General for Tamil Nadu. On May 1, the then Advocate General of Tamil Nadu, Vijay Narayan had sent his resignation to the then CM Edappadi Kepalani Swami. Ag R. Shanmugasundaram was earlier appointed as an additional public prosecutor of the Madras High Court. PUM, first Sikh elected in Scottish Parliament. Pam Gosal has created history by becoming the first Sikh to be elected to the Scottish Parliament. Gosal was elected as a Conservative member of the Scottish Parliament MSP via the West of Scotland list. She won the 2015 Women Leaders Business Award and the 2018 Public Service Award and is a co-founder and chair of the Scottish Conservative Friends of Bump Black, Asian and Minority Ethnic. Nepal PM loses vote of confidence. Nepal PM KP Sharma Oli lost the trust vote in the House of Representatives on 10 May 2021. Prime Minister Oli secured 93 votes in the lower House of Parliament during a special session convened on the directives of President Vidya Devi Bandari. Nepal plunged into a political crisis on December 20, 2020, after President Bandari dissolved the House and announced fresh elections on April 30, 21. International Nurses Day, 12 May. International Nurses Day is observed on May 12 every year. On that day in 1820, Florence Nightingale, the world's most famous nurse, was born. The theme for the 2021 resource is Nurses, a voice to lead a vision for future healthcare. The first nursing school, the Nightingale School of Nursing, was inaugurated in London in 1860. Attempt Daily Current Affairs Quiz.